Good morning, this is Jim Stoker from uh, Don't Call Me a Vegan, and I'm going to show you this morning what I have uh, every morning for uh, breakfast, or virtually every morning. I've been having it pretty much every morning for the last two and a half years, and I'm just back from my morning bicycle ride, actually back from two things this morning. First, I woke up extra early this morning, that's one of the problems, I, I call it a problem of eating plant-based, is you wake up with so much energy, so I woke up... Uh, actually about 3.15 this morning because I went to bed a little early and so uh, after doing some stretching I went up to the canyon uh, Sabino Canyon it's called here in Tucson and did a, a sunrise uh, walk slash hike I guess I did maybe four miles or so and then I came back down and I had a banana to hold me over uh, and then I just went and did about a five mile quick bicycle ride I mean nothing serious I'm not really even sweating it's hard to sweat out here in the desert just because it's so dry, it evaporates so fast. But what I have here in front of me is my steel cut oats, and I like uh, Bob's uh, Red Mill is good. And I usually make enough steel cut oats uh, in some way, shape, or form to last about a week. And I keep it in the refrigerator, and that way it's easy every day just to plop some out like this. And today I've got it on uh, blueberries, uh, and I have blueberries almost every day. I and mean, there's no reason not to eat blueberries. They're so darn good for you. And these are the Wyman's uh, Wild Blueberries, which the label says they have two times the antioxidants, which maybe they do, maybe they don't. All I know is blueberries are fantastic for you. And what I have on top of it, and sometimes I chop up an apple into it, and sometimes I put banana into it, but these uh, wild blueberries are really extra sweet. But according to Dr. Greger, supposed to add some spices to your diet every day. And he has a daily dozen checklist and spices. So I add uh, turmeric, which is, you know, kind of an acquired taste, but some people say turmeric, but there's actually an R, turmeric. And then to increase the bioavailability of uh, what's in the curcumin, which is the active ingredient in turmeric, I add some uh, black pepper. I know that sounds crazy, putting it on my breakfast, but you, you never notice it. And then I throw in a little bit of nutmeg, uh, a little cardamom, which is yummy, and a little ginger root, and then, uh, I don't know, maybe a teaspoonful of, of cinnamon. And, you know, when I was transitioning, you know, way back when, and I'd need a little bit more satisfaction, I'd throw all sorts of other things. I might use maple syrup, I might put in honey, and, you know, every once in a while, if i am got a sweet tooth going on in the morning, I still might do that. But for the most part, I don't even really need that anymore. These blueberries, especially these these uh, wild blueberries, are just so sweet. And then I just sort of make it into this beautiful purple concoction, which is my breakfast every morning. And it's one of the reasons that, you know, after two and a half years of doing this, uh, I lo I've lost 25 pounds, you know, additionally. And I feel fantastic. And I just can't say enough about it. My numbers are great. So I just don't see any reason to not have a bowl of steel cut oats and blueberries every morning with whatever you throw into it to make it as satisfying as yummy as possible. And there's just so many health benefits to all this. I mean, whole grains like that have zinc and, you know, vitamins and fiber. It's just incredible. So I highly recommend it. And I highly recommend getting out every morning and getting some exercise. So once again, thanks for... Uh, watching my YouTube channel, and if you wouldn't mind, if you like it, hit like. If you don't like it, then just go somewhere else. Just kidding. Um, and subscribe if you want. Anyway, it's been great talking to you this morning. Have a great day. Bye-bye.